what is the theodicy of the book of Job? So there are multiple layers and aspects to the answer to the problem of suffering and evil that the book of Job demonstrates. For example, this commenter points out that the book of Job and literature like it critiques this idea of reputative justice, which is this very simple idea that the wicked are punished and the righteous are blessed. You see this idea in Proverbs, you see this in Deuteronomy 28 with the blessings and curses. Job, as well as Psalm 88 and other texts, bring some balance to that idea and say, no, this isn't always the case. Now, of course, there is the eschaton where this is exactly what will happen. The righteous will be blessed and the wicked will be cursed. But as a reality on earth, we see the that's not always how the cookie crumbles. Now, aside from that, Job has some other things to say about evil and suffering. One of them is that we don't know. What's really important to remember in reading the book of Job is that we, the readers, are the omniscient readers, meaning that because we can read the entirety of the book and do these studies and this sort of thing, we know more about why Job is suffering than Job and his friends do. Job and his friends are never told why they're suffering. And that's a key thing to remember, is that we're not always told why we're suffering. And we don't always have to know. God is mysterious, but he's not powerless, and he's not dumb. Your situation, whatever it may be, is within his sovereignty and knowledge. A third aspect to the discussion of evil and suffering in the book of Job is that Things are allowed to suffer indirectly or directly because of God. That might sound like we're blaming God for evil and suffering, but if you look at the narrative of the text, this is what it seems to indicate, is that indirectly, you know, through what God allows the, the Satan to do, suffering occurs. This also correlates with many other Bible passages where God is either using a spiritual force to cause something to occur or himself causing suffering to occur. This is exactly what we're told in Isaiah 45, that God can bring blessings and curses, that he can bring calamity and not calamity, in a sense, good and evil. And I actually think that this is a powerful theodicy, this idea that God is the cause of some sufferings and that can actually explain some evil and suffering and that that's okay so those i think are three important aspects to the discussion of suffering and evil in the book of job let me know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below and make sure you follow me for more content like